Hey guys, welcome back to Mountain Dog Companion. Thanks for tuning in again. Um, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Carla um, and Oscar's litter of um, standard Bernadoodles here. Um, kind of got some unique colors here for you. Um, to, in today's video, we're just going to be going through talking about each one's colors individually. Um, their personalities haven't really got uh, come out yet. Um, we're just kind of um, seeing them as super small puppies now. They just opened their eyes um, just a little bit, so um, definitely still just exploring the world and not really being too active in it. So um, first off is the only boy in the litter. There's six puppies, there's only one boy, five girls. Um, so he, he's got a really nice um, sable look there on the back um, with the a little bit darker ears. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but a little bit more of a black look around the ears, um, around the front there. Not a lot of white overall, just a really nice sable look. But he does have a little bit of a white chest here in the front. Um, beautiful boy, just absolutely gorgeous. Um, got some really nice colors. Um, just overall, he's gonna be a wonderful guy, so. Um, and that was the only boy in the litter. And we haven't named them yet, so um, they're still a little bit small for that. So um, give it a couple weeks. But next up is the first girl here. Um, she is pretty much completely black. Um, a nice coat. She's nice, chunk nice and chunky. Probably one of the bigger girls so far. Um, she does have a little bit of white here in the front. Not a lot. Um, some white paws in the back here, and a white spot on the tip of her nose. Um, beautiful little girl, and just overall she's going to be a wonderful, wonderful puppy, um, and she's doing great. Next up, we're going to be talking about um, the first sable girl here. Um, she has more white, kind of has that white stripe in between her eyes, um, some nice black markings on the side, and the tail does kind of uh, blacken out here in the back. Um, just some really unique markings here. Um, beautiful little girl. She does have some white socks in the back and a white chest up front. Um, if she, she's probably not gonna let me show you guys. There we go. Good girl. Um, she's doing great. So she's one of the smaller girls um, so far. Not the smallest, but one of the smaller ones. Um, these guys are gonna be between your 70 and 90 pounds uh, for the most part. It can vary quite a bit. Typically, the girls tend to be a little bit smaller, uh, where the guys can be a little bit larger. Um, in this case, we only have one boy, um, and he's a little bit on the smaller side, so I, I don't know if this will stand true for uh, for this specific litter, but um, that's typically what the case is. So, um, in the comment section, let me know if there's a preferred size for you. If you have anything that you would really like as far as like, would you want a 70 pound puppy? Would you want a 90 pound puppy? Um, just let me know. Um, but moving on here to the next puppy, um, primarily black again, got some white socks in the back, a white spot on uh, her nose, um, kind of streaking up towards um, in between her eyes and kind of a nice tuxedo look up front. A nice little spot there. Um, looks like she dipped her nose in a, um, in a bowl of milk, so a um, really good looking girl there. And going to be moving on to... The next little girl, she is primarily black as well, but has more white markings than the others. Um, probably most white in the litter. Nice white socks, front and back. Um, a beautiful white chest. Um, that white stripe in between the eyes, it kind of extends up towards the top of her head. Um, and then she does have your white tip tail. Um, beautiful looking girl here. Um, it's kind of crazy that these guys are litter mates and they look so different. Um, you can see the difference here is quite, um, quite, quite the difference there for you. So um, if anyone has any preferences, there you go. So last but not least here um, is the last Sable girl. Um, she has more, uh, more of the black furnishings, I would say, overall um, compared to the rest of her litter mates. Just uh, more of that black showing through on her legs, on the back, um, there, that stripe around the ears. Um, just overall a really nice, beautiful look. Um, I don't know, she does have a little bit of a white spot there for you. Um, so a beautiful little girl overall. 
Um, and the litter in general is just um, very beautifully marked. Um, seem to be coming around in personalities as well. Um, so far, the girl here on the right is the most outgoing from what I've noticed, um, but it's so hard to see um, at this age. So um, keep, keep um, up to date on the videos here. We'll definitely keep you guys posted as far as how they're doing. We'll have some YouTube or more YouTube videos in the future. Um, and also have individual pictures or individual pictures on these guys um, here in the next couple weeks. So definitely stay tuned if you're interested. If anyone has any questions for me, feel free to reach out to me. My number is 330-234-0102. Um, you can always email us at mountaindogcompanion at gmail.com. Feel free to follow us on Instagram as well. Um, check out these beautiful little guys on the website. There's all sorts of good information on there. Um, just as far as genetic testing goes, um, just pictures of the puppies, more information in general. So, um, thanks for tuning in today, guys. Take care.